November and December, and it's all like green except for Thanksgiving. And then gobble, gobble, gobble. <laughs> I'm gonna try to do a turkey sound. Like that. You know, what? I'm not gonna go. There. Go- that is a turkey. What do you I think will. I was doing? Give me an industry. I say theme park. We did that one. Dang it. Car dealership. I can't remember. I know we did that one, but I don't know if we recorded a segment on it. So we can do a car dealership. We're doing local or mainstream? Local. Local. Okay. All right. So in our area, we do see a lot of local car dealerships. So you can drive right up this road about five minutes away from us. And I was about seven within two square miles, uh, seven different small car dealerships. And I actually think the small car dealer, p- people going to the auction and going to um, you know, like your state auctions and local auctions to buy cars and resell them, uh, fix them up, can win. Uh, and I think that you, they wouldn't exist if they don't do somewhat well, but using voice and providing value add services and um, other content around their dealership could win on Alexa and audio content as general. So Sean's going to share with you some. I think a flash briefing would be really cool if uh, it was just part of it and it was Judd Coon Chevrolet, for example, could say that this is not a small one. That's a Chevrolet one. Oh, no, no, no. I meant like not like the Chevrolet TV commercials nationally. I meant like just car dealerships um, I'm, but I'm it would be really cool if they had if it's oh this week we're offering um ten dollar oil changes in a flash briefing or you could ask and say what's the next uh, maintenance item i have for my car and it could go by time if you had an account linking set up i think yeah creating creating almost um client accounts would be huge and creating like a membership into your car dealership where you deliver certain services and and and, and content to them um, about cars that are available, about services like they could come pick up your car for an oil change. You could schedule that all through voice. You could schedule tire rotations. You can do all the all the kind of car and, and maintenance services that will add money back into your dealership. But I was talking more like you know A plus auto sales or you know choice one auto and and those those smaller ones and create a client base that is repeat customers and everything. Um, and deliver specials, uh, be put on certain lists. Like I would love this service and car dealers. This is the difference between car, car salespeople and realtors who salespeople seem to be more transactional based. Um, and, and even though I've bought more cars and houses in my lifetime, I would, th- but realtors tend to be relational based. Um, and try and keep that client for life. If I was a car dealership, I would try and keep my customer so that if I said I'm looking for a red, 2015 or newer Range Rover and like I'm on a list and I could like add that car to my list and and the car dealer gets contacted that that Chris is looking for that and then they can reach back out to me like I that would be powerful to 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 have that information to have somebody working and searching for me in that regards I think uh that's what I would I would include Flash briefing, podcast, pack, podcast and flash briefing, anything cars can do? You can listen to it in a lot of cars nowadays. You could do a car special. This person audience. really wants to get a hold of me, so. You, hey, you could do car, oh, then go away. <laughs> you could do a car special of the week um, as far as, bye, Sean. Um, you could do a car special of the week as far as flash briefings go and, um, and, and really be able to deliver deals as far as what deals come onto the lot and keep that content going along with doing like special uh, service providers and sponsors in those flash briefings to create some local community feel for that. Podcasting at the car lot, I think is no different than having a radio show come when you have a car special. So if you do an event once a month, you could just do a once a month podcast that could be very oriented to uh, building brand and having a local community feel um, to that while also highlighting your deals, your cars, your service, your value adds of why people should shop with you versus the guy up the street or the the major player. So uh, some different ways to keep that audio branding and audio content out there through flash briefings, podcasting, and of course, a custom skill that's going to allow voice in their home to be a real catalyst for creating customers and clients long-term for your dealership.